New York Times noted this week that MSNBC fell behind CNN in the third quarter ratings, even its biggest star, Rachel Maddow, posting her lowest ever numbers in the key 25 to 54 demo. And that prompted this in my sit down with Bill O'Reilly. What I am amazed at is that NBC just doesn't pull a plug. I mean, once you fall behind CNN, which they have, CNN is not beating them. Wh where is there to go on this thing? They're not going to be successful. NBC is not going to pull the plug, but can the cable channel climb out of this hole? Joining me now from New York, Joe Concha, a columnist for Mediaite. So any network can have a bad quarter, but what, in your view, is behind the longer term slide in the numbers at MSNBC? Well, Howie, there was once a time that MSNBC was relatively successful. Uh, first quarter of 2009, for instance, they had 400,000 viewers in the primetime demo, 25 to 54. Latest quarter, 125,000. Think about that. 70% of your audience gone. So why did that happen? Partially because, or maybe mostly because, last year, uh, MSNBC President Phil Griffin said that they no longer did breaking news. And the strategy was to go to more opinion. Now, the problem with going to more opinion is outside of the morning show, which does have some dissent and diverse views from 9 p.m. I'm sorry, 9 a.m. till about 11 p.m. outside of Matthews and Maddow, it's impossible to discern one show from the other. It's like listening to a Millie Vanilli album. Every song sounds the same. So <laughs> I think when you don't have dissent, it doesn't make for compelling television. And people, especially liberals, are moving away in droves, as the numbers indicate, Howie. Right. You don't have as many NBC reporters appearing on MSNBC, uh, you have mostly, with some exceptions, you know, left-leaning hosts having mostly left-leaning guests, plus Michael Steele, so there's less surprise. And I think also people are uh, part, tired of politics, and if you're doing politics all the time, that doesn't help.